Hi friends, uh, in this tutorial I will be covering uh, Escapy. So using Escapy you can uh, craft packets and uh, then you can send it to other machines. You can craft custom packets so you can check connectivity or you can check whether some other systems are up or they are vulnerable to some kind of um, packets. Uh, so basically just you can see that Escapy is used to send customized packets to. Uh, so Let's get it sorted. Let me give a quick demo in this one. So you open. So first of all, uh, I have config ETH0. This is uh, the, my machine. It has an interface of 10.0.0.1.101. Sorry, this is my IP address. So let's uh, start with the scappy. This is going to be an introduction. I will be just trying to give a simple example of it in this one. So. If you want to go me into detail or if you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. So now the thing uh, with Scappy is that, uh, so the first thing that uh, what we should do right now is uh, let's create a, an IP packet. So IP is the layer three of the ISO module. So this is I, you're creating a variable called IP. So you're creating a variable I and uh, for the IP layer. And you're saying that this i dot display, so you're assigning the IP packet or the IP port of a uh, packet to this i object, and then using this what the display function it does is that it shows us the contents of this IP object that we have. So it shows that like the version S4 IHL TUS LAN. So this is TUS as for uh, quality of service and these things. I think uh, the linked ID flags. Currently there are no flags and uh, the TTL is 64 so the source and destination it is 127.0.0.1 so it's the source and destination currently it is the local host so let's create um, uh, an ICMP packet also uh, sorry not ICMP packet let's get, let's add an ICMP layer to it also so let's first create this ICMP object I is equal to IC is equal to ICMP so let's see what it has by default IC dot display so in here you can see that the type is echo request so by default when you're pinging another machine it is ICMP is used to ICMP is used by default um, so this is the echo request so this is what you send when you're pinging another machine this is like, uh, like the default uh, type that you send mm, and when the, the another machine to which you're singing, sending this echo request when it replies what it does is that it sends an echo reply I will be showing that to you uh, in a few seconds, sorry, in a few minutes after we uh, get a reply from the remote machine, after we send this request request. And um, so what we do is uh, previously in here, we saw that the destination, source and destination is localhost. So let's change it. Uh, so I'm using the I that uh, I created previously and I'm using the destination or DST function and I'm specifying the uh, a remote IP machine 200105. So this is another machine that I have running. Sorry, I have to. I do DST. Is it saying file console line one and module type is your object is not callable? I dot DST is equal to ten zero zero one oh five. So in here what I'm doing is that I'm setting the destination of the IP packet uh, to ten zero zero one oh five. So let's do I display. So in here now you can see that uh, uh, the destination is now ten zero zero one oh five, which is a machine that I'm running in my virtual app. And this is the and this has also changed. This is the Internet Ethernet Zero interface that I'm using, which I showed you previously. This is my local ETH Zero interface. This is the IP address of the ETH interface of my local machine. This is the remote one. So in order to send a packet uh, using SCAPI, what we do is we use SR1, and inside it we specify the I, uh, we specify the layers that we have uh, created. So this is the I, uh, IP layer, and then we are. Uh, adding this the uh, layer 4 which is the ICMP layer on top uh, on it 
So this will be ha this will have the IP addresses. This will have the echo request, and we can send it. So what we can do is uh, with press enter, it will send it. So it's, it says receive two packets, it got one answers. So this is our reply. So in here you can see that some interesting things in here like the TTL is 128. So when we send the TTL was 64. In here you can see that when we specified but we are receiving a TTL as machine 128. So I think Linux uses a TTL of 64 and Windows uses a TTL of 128. The protocol is ICMP. The source, this time the source, you can see previously our source was 10.0.0.101. However, this time the source is 10.0.0.105. This is the IP address of the remote machine. This time the destination is 10.0.0.101. This is our local machine's interface. After this, uh, uh, this is the type. Type is echo reply. So previously, let me show it to you in here. When we sent this message, it was of the type echo request. So in here, we received this echo reply. So whenever a machine replies, it is it sends uh, the packet type is or the ICMP type is echo reply. So this is it for this one. Uh, and you can one other thing that I can want to show you is that you can also send some data like, hello, what up. Buddy. So you can see that when you send that data, we eat the load. This part specifies the data that we send receive back from the client. So we sent a ping or an ICMP message and an ICMP, ICMP echo request. We received an ICMP echo reply. So this is the echo reply, but we also send this text called hello, what up, buddy? So what we did was that when you send this uh, text as a string, we just received it back, the same one. Uh, so this is how you can use uh, SCAPI to craft uh, custom messages. If you want me to cover some other parts of SCAPI, uh, I'll be happy to do that. Or if you have any questions uh, that you didn't understand in this lecture, uh, just put it in the comment section below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.